here last night about some truly jaw-dropping theft and fraud from FEMA and American taxpayers after Hurricane Katrina, the cost of good intentions. As we hear from NBC's Chip Reed again tonight, there was no shortage of rip-off artists living it up while a lot of people were suffering. Honolulu, Hawaii, the Pagoda Hotel, famous for its koi ponds and Japanese gardens, a short walk from world-renowned Waikiki Beach. For 10 weeks, this was home for someone who claimed to be a victim of Hurricane Katrina. In fact, though, according to a federal report released today, the alleged victim lived in North Carolina when Katrina hit. But FEMA, without even checking, paid his hotel tab of $8,000. And there's more. He also applied for rental assistance. FEMA, apparently unaware it was also paying his hotel bill, paid him another $2,358. This is an affront to the American taxpayer. Today, federal investigators told Congress there are thousands of examples of so-called scam artists who built FEMA for about a billion dollars following hurricanes Katrina and Rita. Anytime you throw that kind of money, uh, you're asking for it. There are bad actors there who are going to milk the system. Did you take money from FEMA? Last month in Florida, more than two dozen suspects were charged in federal court with posing as Katrina victims, allegedly defrauding FEMA of more than $150,000. All have pleaded not guilty. FEMA says it, too, is aggressively investigating and claims to have identified more than 1,500 cases of potential fraud that have been referred for possible criminal prosecution. But in New Orleans today, firefighter Paul Lala says he got his FEMA money legitimately and is outraged that so many did not. That's a criminal uh, act. They should go to jail. Easy. That's stealing. Stealing money, he says, that should have gone to those in need. Chip Reed, NBC News, Washington. As we mentioned earlier.